How to clean your catalytic converter without removing it. You will need a pressure washer, liquid dish soap, and a reversible vacuum cleaner or a blower. First, you start by removing the uh, exhaust pipe from the uh, exhaust manifold. Then you just pour in some dish soap. I'm doing it right here. And uh, just pour, just keep, uh, you know, just go like you're feeling and pour in as much soap as you want. Uh, the bigger your engine, or if you got more in one pipe, so it's trial and error. I just then I just dip the uh, washer, the high pressure washer down in, and just go in all the way in as fast as I can go. And I can see it's still it's just foaming. The foam comes right out, and the more you keep going, the foam will come out right out at the end, the tail pipe. And it will make your, hopefully it will make your catalytic converter cleaner. It will clean it out from all the, the cells and the, uh, the clogging stuff, whatever it is. If it's, uh, if your engine is burning oil or got dirty after a few years of I mean, catalytic converters will run out. I, I hear you can see all the foam that came out of the tailpipe, and it's a lot. It's a huge amount of foam, and already the water it's a uh, uh, dark in color. You don't see it here in the video, but I can tell you the water was uh, really removing all the all the the ash and the dirt from the tailpipe here. And you can see the tailpipe now. I'm blowing air in to dry it out before I start the engine. So this car here uses an Opel Corsa. And it's a four-cylinder engine and it's got a small catalytic converter. And I think I was never replaced. I bought it second hand but it's a used car and just uh, and here it's a uh, dual tracker. I found the same with it. I just uh blowing air in here to see what's I'm blowing air and the uh, front here, it, it took me a little bit more time because the tail pipe was fastened with a lot more bolts than it was in the case of the Opel Corsa. Uh, but I'm doing the same process here, I'm just first pouring some dish soap, then the pressure washer, then the air blower. Uh, I mounted back everything together and started the engine, it was running smooth. And I hope that. After a couple days, I will take it back to uh, for the pollution test. Hopefully, my hydrocarbons will be less than they are right now, which is they're still high. So hopefully, it will improve and it will pass the emission control test.